everybody, it's Eva here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new Sims 4 speed build. In today's video, we are building something that I've been wanting to build for a long, long time. Never had the time or the effort to do, um, but I decided to build three New York townhouses. And yes, we are furnishing all three houses. So yeah, settle in, grab some popcorn because this is going to take a while. Um, but yeah, I decided to build New York townhouses um, and you know how in New York those brownstone townhouses aren't just freestanding they are usually like a whole row and a whole street of houses similar to London obviously and in The Sims we don't really have the option to create like detached or semi-detached houses so I decided to build a whole block of townhouses to create this townhouse brownstone look and I absolutely love it that is mainly due to Harry's amazing brownstone CC pack which I am using heavily in this especially for the exterior obviously all the windows doors and door frames and also the um, wallpapers are all from the brownstone pack which I can highly highly recommend to you it's the most beautiful pack um, of custom content I've ever seen and it really inspired me to create something New York related um, I've been missing New York and been wanting to go to New York for the past couple years ever since I first visited and obviously due to the whole mess that's been going on over the past couple of years um never had the chance to actually visit again but i love new york i'm obsessed with watching tv shows films youtube videos like of people set in and based in new york so yeah i'm getting my new york fix that way and also through the sims now like i said i built three different townhouses and they are all furnished in three different styles um the lot that i've built them on is the waterside warbles lot in the spice district in Samoshuno so it's like the top left corner of Samoshuno and I think that's the perfect area for this because it's also surrounded by brownstone buildings so it really blends in well um, with the environment and also there's that amazing gorgeous bridge which kind of looks like a bridge that could be in New York you know so that lot has my heart even though the lighting is absolutely horrendous <laughs> but um, I built it from the back side so the gallery thumbnail will obviously be from the front which is horribly lit but I went for the backside also because you have a way better view out that way um, if you look at the water it's just it's really nice so for the three townhouses I decided to build in three different colors and styles um, so the middle one is the biggest one it has four bedrooms and five bathrooms and then we have the one on the left which has three bedrooms and four three bathrooms I believe and then the one on the right is the smallest because it's very narrow and I decided to go for a one bed one bath in there but with a really cool photo studio for like I don't know a young aspiring sim who lives in the city and is working hard on their career. I really 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 hope that you like these townhouses and also I'm curious to which one is your favorite uh, in the end. Um, so yeah if you enjoy this video and if you like this build then please do me a favor and leave a like down below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already anyway let's get back into the build since my last cc build i actually downloaded so much more custom content and i made use of a lot of the packs that i downloaded in this build so yeah i'm using lots of different creators and lots of different packs um you can find the full list of packs and creators in the description down below if you interested and I will also go into detail about like new creators and new packs that I downloaded in this video as well and first of all the one that I've been most looking forward to using is the slouch pack by Charlie Pancakes which includes the most beautiful sofa I am absolutely obsessed with this sofa ever since I laid eyes on it I was like I am using that to death in my CC builds and that's what I'm doing because every single house on this lot has that sofa from the slouch bag by Charlie Pancakes just in different swatches obviously it's genuinely my dream sofa and I would buy that in a heartbeat in real life I am not kidding like I am obsessed with it that's the kind of sofa I was hoping for when they said sectional sofas in the sims not the ones with those horrendous legs and mid-century vibes just something that's like a really solid low sofa I'm obsessed and in the first 
townhouse you can see it in this really gorgeous terracotta color which i am also obsessed with i mean all the swatches are amazing there's some great patterns as well which i made use of in the last townhouse um but yeah i am obsessed with this and the terracotta color that i went for for the sofa also kind of pulls through the entire rest of the house so um for this middle house i decided to go for a very warm color palette with a lot of like brick and terracotta colors and light brown wood so it's super welcoming and super modern obviously there's a shelf that i also used in the living room from little dicker who um actually made this for a bedroom but i just love the look of it for like a living room shelf so i used that and most importantly <laughs> and super excitingly i downloaded a pack by a winged llama who liberated all of the plants on my favorite eco lifestyle shelf and made them available to like place everywhere and like freely and i am literally using them everywhere in these three houses like you can see them in every room in any corner they're just so cute because they're like little tiny waterfall plants and um, and then there's one that's not a waterfall plant but it's still gorgeous and i'm so happy that i discovered them being separated uh, i did a reel on my instagram the other day um about objects that i wish were separated from from other items in the sims and there's just so many gorgeous decor items that i wish we were able to use like freely everywhere and those plants were literally on my number one list of items I wish we had in the game. So yeah, you can expect the trailing plants everywhere in this build. <laughs> Obviously, I'm also using a lot of Harry and Felix's collab packs in this um, and a lot of um, Harry herself. The wallpaper, for example, is from Felix Anders London set that I'm using in the like middle build. Um, and yeah, you can expect obviously those packs in almost every CC build of mine because they're just my standard go-to packs. Same goes for Charlie Pancake stuff and Pierre Sim and then another creator that I downloaded that I've been looking forward to using um, their stuff uh, is Tuds. I'll go into Tuds' stuff in, into detail in a sec uh, because I used their mere kitchen in the fully black townhouse. Also, if you haven't noticed yet, I am also completely in love with creating kids rooms and like nurseries and all of that sort um, with custom content. They have been growing on me without custom content as well, but it's so much harder because the items that we have in game are just all like really bold and colorful and like big and cartoony. And the CC creators that I've been using create such tasteful and elegant custom content for kids rooms. Um, mostly I used the Tiny Travelers by Felix and Harry, the Small Pack by Charlie Pancakes, and the Oak House by Pierre Sim. Their kids room custom content is top tier. Genuinely. I could make so many kids rooms with all the items that we get, um, which I'm actually doing in this build. So yeah, you can see all the <laughs> many different kids rooms that I've created. If you haven't downloaded all of Tud's uh, CC, then please go ahead and do so because it is absolutely stunning. Like they did so many cool packs. There is the Mere Kitchen that I've been using for the black townhouse. So the townhouse that's leftmost, I furnished in really dark color, so black and then contrasting light brown wood. Um, also, talking about light brown wood, especially that flooring, um, that is from Peacemaker. They recolored some of the um, floors, wood floors from Eco Lifestyle, again. <laughs> Eco Lifestyle just has the most beautiful assets and if they were to be recolored or like separated, they are literally the dream pack. I mean, it already is my dream pack, but anyway. Um, and I used that um, really lovely wooden flooring that everybody's obsessed with, um, normally from Eco Lifestyle, but it comes in like really weird swatches like either really white or really yellow and peacemaker recolored all of them to like the most beautiful colors and i mean look at that flooring it has so much potential clearly don't know what the sims is doing they just need to look at what cc creators are doing and like 
talk to them, work with them. It just clearly shows what is possible with the items that we get from The Sims. They just choose to give them to us in like weird colorways and weird shapes. Ugh. But anyway, I'm loving those three colors of the floors and I love the contrast that it gives with the black um, Felixander wallpaper. Um, it looks so elegant and luxurious. I absolutely love it. But anyway, back to Tuds. I'm like all over the place because there's so many CC creators I absolutely adore. Um, but anyway, Tuds created this really cool kitchen with mirror cabinets and like mirror counters. So the front of the cabinets is actually a proper mirror, obviously like tinted to black in the kitchen that I used. Um, I love them and the quality of Tuds's items is superb. Like I am in love, genuinely. It looks like such high quality custom content that uh, it just blew my mind. Um, same goes obviously for all the other creators that I used, but I was just, I saw this and I was like, wow, all of their stuff is stunning. Um, there's also some shelves, which I, I think I'm using in the office of the third house. Um, they're like lit wooden shelves that are fixed to the uh, ceiling and the floor and they look so cool and I like use them in the office as a like, kind of backdrop with like lots of bookshelves so yeah there's lots of tuds of cc in this um sofas as well and my main if not favorite part of what Tuds ever created is the light fixtures. They created the most beautiful light fixtures. They're so modern. They are, they come in all different heights for ceiling height. So you have no issue finding the perfect light for each ceiling height. And they are stunning. I am obsessed. I am genuinely obsessed. I'm literally like looking at Tuds of CC and thinking I want this in real life. So yeah, I'm planning my house, my dream house based on their CC. Um, but no, genuinely, it's so, so, so gorgeous. And there's so many different ones. They come with, I think the the Beam Kitchen. Um, well, I've basically I download all their packs and then you'll have whatever they've made. Uh, they are so, so, so pretty and I can only recommend them to anybody who likes modern light fixtures, especially because in The Sims, I think we don't really have that many for ceiling lights that are really like modern and nice and actually reach no matter what wall height you have. But you know, that is like my highlight of other than that slouch sofa by Charlie Pancakes, my highlight of this build. The last townhouse, so the one on the right, it's for like a young professional who's like climbing the career ladder at the moment. Um, and I decided to keep that townhouse really, really light. So the colors that I used mostly were really light brown wood, white and like cream colors. Um, and I also went for a rather rustic touch on some of the items. In the kitchen, I used a lot of ceramics. Um, I used a lot of wood and style wise like the bed for example is rather rustic and that's what I've been like trying to go for because this kind of modern rustic chic um has been really popular um in the past couple of years and I think a lot of young people are into this kind of style um so yeah and I in that house I actually created my absolute favorite bathroom I adore that bathroom so much I used some counters so, like they're kitchen counters from Charlie Pancakes but they don't have the actual like counterpart they just have the waterfall edge and I just use that as a bathroom sink and then place the brownstone sink that I use obsessively in every single kitchen <laughs> in this build and it just creates this really cool modern looking sink I'm actually obsessed I say I'm obsessed so much but I am genuinely obsessed I dream of CC at night I kid you not I dream of it I can't sleep because I am thinking about me using custom content so yeah that's where I'm at but yeah anyway I also created a photo studio at the top in that um, house because um, maybe they like work in fashion or as a photographer or something and I did I wanted to use the room that way rather than it being a kids room and all of it is very open concept so I don't think I would be able to fit a kids room in that house just because it's a Rather narrow but anyway I am afraid we are getting towards the end of the speed build part and obviously the tour of all three townhouses is coming up so I really hope you enjoy that um, let me know which townhouse is your favorite um, in the comments down below and I can't wait to see you again next Wednesday with another Sims 4 speed build bye